welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. So the funny thing about breeding chihuahuas, my affiliates and I might go months without having any puppies, and then all of a sudden we'll have several litters clumped together. So as you can tell, it looks like we're clumped together once again. So today I'm gonna introduce you guys to Maria's three new babies. Look how cute they are. chocolate brown just like mommy and one of them has this adorable little white marking around her neck this one reminds me of margo are you margo jr oh maria's a good mommy and there's one boy he's a little bit more red colored than the other two but i would still call him brown and they're all just precious hi maria you're a good mommy if you're new to sweetie pie pets please consider subscribing I'm super excited to be approaching another major milestone. So thank you all, and please make sure to share my videos across all your social media platforms. So it's always exciting to have new babies. Maria, if you guys recall, lives with my affiliate Vanessa as her pet, along with her beloved sister, Anna. Some of you guys might remember when I picked them up from the airport, both Anna and Maria came from Russia. And if not, you can watch my video here on that. In my breeding program, my affiliates are all loving families who treat my sweetie pies as beloved pets. And Vanessa is excited to have her sweetie pie bring three new babies into the world. And of course, I'm excited too, because look how adorable they are. Look at you. This is Maria's first litter, and so far she's doing really well. Are you a good mommy? I also wanted to take this opportunity to answer a question from viewer Alexis Pahalan. Alexis is getting a new sweetie pie and she wants some advice on how to get her chihuahua to pick her as opposed to some of her other family members. Alexis says she lives with her family currently, so she's gonna get her sweetie pie, but in time, she and her sweetie pie are going to be moving out and she wants to make sure that her sweetie pie has chosen her. And that is a very good question, Alexis, so thanks so much for asking. Chihuahuas do tend to pick one family member over others. And I can understand why you might be worried if your sweetie pie might pick another family member over you. So there's a few things to think about. First of all, try to make sure your sweetie pie spends a lot of time with you. In fact, more time with you than with anybody else. Set up her crate in your room and let her smell you and spend lots of time with you. Make sure you have bedtime and couch time together because chihuahuas love to cuddle. After all, they were bred literally to be lap dogs. So make sure she is that lap dog on your lap. Hand feed her, and while you're doing it, baby talk. And also do some basic obedience training with her. Teach her to sit, to stay, and to walk on a leash that you are controlling. Make sure that she knows that you are her provider. Do lots of trust building exercises, such as holding her upside down in your arms. Talk lovingly and soothingly to her. Chihuahuas are very sensitive dogs, so you never want to scare her or yell at her. Be gentle and loving and give her lots of treats and rewards for her successes. And with that, it really shouldn't be too much of a concern. Your sweetie pie will pick you. She will always run to you first. She'll make long eye contact with you and she will greet you with a wagging tail and happy body language. But one thing to consider, don't keep her from the rest of the family just out of concern that she won't pick you. Chihuahuas can become overly protective and earn themselves a reputation for nipping and barking at others. You definitely do not want that. So from time to time, make sure to include the rest of the family in bonding exercises. Place your sweetie pie on their laps as well. Have your family hand feed her, play with her, and participate in some exercises. You do want your sweetie pie well adjusted so that she doesn't just pick you. It's a balance, it truly is. But as long as you control the situation and keep it positive, she'll be good with everyone. And that will also carry over how she treats strangers who might come to your house. We don't want an angry or nippy chihuahua. So you can make sure that doesn't happen by involving the visitors as much as possible with your sweetie pie. Place her in their lap. Make her tolerate the stranger. She will learn pretty quickly that she does not need to disapprove of strangers that come into the house if you have invited them in. And you will eventually have a loyal, well-adjusted companion for life. Good luck with that, Alexis, and let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.